This is not a spoiler, we promise you. Except for Superman dies in the end. But other than that, non-spoiler. Yeah, except for Superman. Hey guys, it's G. And Anthony from the F Word, and we just saw Gremlins 2. <laughs> Infinity War, we saw Infinity War. Well, we saw it last night, we needed some time to process it, and we're doing our non-spoiler now, and we're going to release the spoiler review after this one, because we've had some people that are like, can yeah, you just like, do a non-spoiler? People want both, people want like non-spoiler, because you know, there's a majority of people who haven't seen it, and... Big time. Short and sweet. Yeah, big time, because, I mean, there's so... Even the, when we went last night at the late show, it was packed. There was a ton of people, so it's going to be tough for people that didn't get their tickets already to go take a look at this. Mm-hmm. Thanos is on the warpath, he's grabbing his Infinity Stones, and he's out to take the whole team out. He's, ta- he's out to take over the world. He's, he's taking ass time. and kicking names. Exactly, yeah. Did you like this movie? Yes. Did it exceed I need your expectations? I see it again. Yeah, me too. Did it exceed your expectations? Yes. Um, you, I did not think it would. I thought it would fall flat. You did, hey? Yeah. The big thing is I know you and I always contest. I, I know you're a big DC guy. You love your DC Well, movies. I like Marvel too, but you know. You like, yeah, but, like no, but not as much. Good. Yeah. Well, and, and I want DC to do good. Do you feel like the, like the whole 10 years leading up to this, that it worked for that? My main thought throughout the movie was, screw DC. For ruining everything. The whole thing, hey? Like, I was just watching of what the could have been? Is I that was more? watching the Mar- I was watching Infinity War, and I'm like, you know what? This is a good movie. Yeah. Like, some 30 minutes, and I'm like, no, I enjoy this. I'm enjoying myself. Yeah. Not just like why I enjoy the movie, but yeah, I yeah. think it's a bad movie. Like, this is a good movie, and I enjoy it. Yeah, um, I I walked out, and uh, like, at the theater, not walked out during the movie. Uh, I, when we left, it when it was over, I... You want to stay, but you had I, to I, I didn't say a word. Like, I, I couldn't put together what I was feeling, and it was so crazy, and I don't know, I'm not going to tell you what I was feeling, how I was feeling, or whatever, but... That whole ride home, I had no music on. I had no nothing. I just drove, and I was just processing everything that happened. Yeah, my brother and I, we were driving home. We did not say a single word. We just sat in silence. And the thing is, is that it's got a runtime of 2.45, I think, when it's all said and done. I think it was 2:30. like 2.30. 2.30, yeah. 2.30. Also 2.30. That was the fastest 2.30 for me out of any movie. Like, you know, yes. I, I, I like long movies if there's substance in it. This thing is just, just hits and next thing you know, it's, it's over. Done. The first, as I want to say, this is the first Marvel movie where I'm looking forward to the next one just because of the end credit scene. That, and I would say that's the most important end credit scene. Like, and and it sets up if you want to, and we're not going to say what it is, but if you really want people to invest in the movies going forward, you do an end credit scene like this. Um, characters well balanced, and that was my thing. I think. Everyone was saying with Civil War, there's going to be too many characters. It's going to be tough to put them all together, give everybody their just due. But they did. And this is way more here. And the Russo brothers did. I felt everybody had a chance to shine and they shone together. Also, as you guys know, I hate Guardians of the Galaxy 2. But I feel like, you know, the Russo brothers redeemed them in this movie because their humor was a bit down. You know, they were still funny, but it wasn't mm-hmm. overdone. Drax... The guy shut up, said a good joke every once in a while, and he moved on. I liked it. So I want to say humor, because it was a dark movie, right? And people were mad because, like, oh, there's going to be so much humor. But if yeah. this was dark, it would be so much, I think it wouldn't be as good, because you need the yeah. humor. It was, you need and, to and, and it was in there so organically, and within the different team-ups, because, I mean, I mean, for those of you, if you can, for like you, you never watched any of the trailers. So nope. I'm not, we're not going to say what, who was in the trailers and what scenes. You've probably seen it, but for the sake of this review and for your guys going in. The trailers clean, were mixed in a way where... It misled you a lot, I noticed. Big time, big time. There was there was one specific scene yeah. that was massively misleading, which I think actually worked. Um, all the team-ups were good. The team-ups that happened were were great. Like, who they decided to put with each other, I thought was awesome. Thanos, you want to talk about a villain? Josh, Josh Brolin. Brolin just brought so much power to it. And there was some, just some massive scenes and you're on this roller coaster of emotions and that type, like, it's not really about everybody else. No, it's about Thanos. It is about him. He's which just is, farming. Yeah. And, and, and that is the biggest takeaway from this too. They managed to have our favorite characters, regardless on who you're siding with or who's your favorite character so on and so forth. He is at the center of it all. He is the power of it all. And he brings it in such, such a Tour de Force. Uh, the action was really good. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, so the scenes were pretty, pretty epic. So yeah, again, without going too much, uh, any other things on the good stuff? Good. I mean, honestly, it's an all-around good movie. Just like 
very small thing that I disliked, but it didn't like ruin the movie for me. It's just like yeah. preferences. No, that's fair. Yeah. Um. Aside from that, without spoiling anything, again, you you need to see this thing and really process it. Any negatives for you? Like this is like a nitpicky thing, but I just felt like Captain America looked very weird to me. Like the hair yeah. color and the beard color just did not match, and it just looked like it just was weird. I'm going to say, and I'm pretty sure we had a uh, Justice League situation going on. In most of the scenes, it's fine. Mm -hmm. There is one scene, however, that it looked CG. And it was clearly CG. Uh, again, you'll notice, if you notice it, great. It's not nearly as bad, I thought, as I thought uh, it was Superman. weird. Like, it didn't, like, I wasn't staring at the whole movie like, what the hell is that? Well, and, and for me, I just picked it up on one small thing, and then the rest of it, you know, was fine. Um, any other negatives from... That you have? I just felt like Thanos was kids. Like, I just didn't care about them. No? No. Like, I know they were, like, they were good guys. I actually, like, was interested in them. It's just like, I don't know. I just don't care about them. I'm sorry. I, I, we, and then we didn't mention it, like, with the, with the kids and the good stuff. But I, I liked all of them for the purpose that it was they like served. like Bowser and his kids. Bowser and the Cooper, like, Koopalings. Yeah. And, and but the one guy, uh, Ebony Maw, man, the way he spoke. The way he walked around, like the way he he just he's a genius in the comics, and they, they really brought it. My I guess one of my negatives is Drax. I know you mentioned that you like Drax. He's always been Drax the Destroyer, and in the first Guardians, they they created him as being you know one way. But I felt that Drax was maybe a little too funny in this, uh, and wasn't as Destroyer e. Um, obviously, everybody has their moments to take some names and stuff, but he was the only one that I was like, I felt they've. You know, we've talked about Guardians 2, and yeah, in Guardians 2, he was a lot funnier than he should have been. He was cracking jokes. He wasn't funny. Yeah. He was, just, he was trying. And and so, in, in this one, they kind of built from it a little bit more than I would have wanted them to. But other than that, you know, again, that's just, that's just the only other negative. I, I do have a worry in regards to how this ended. But you'll have to wait till the spoiler. You'll have to we wait till the spoiler. Yeah, we, yeah we, you can catch it up. Yeah, so Infinity War. This is our non-spoiler. Uh, hopefully we didn't spoil anything. I don't, I don't think we did. No. Um, yeah, if you've invested in them, in the movies, this is really going to hit you hard. And if you haven't, this will not hit you hard? I don't think it will, no. Um, like, if you've seen... you Obviously, people in the past 10 years have seen one thing or another. But, you know, for the people that have gone into it, I would say the old... Like, especially if you've seen your Thor Ragnarok's uh, the Black past, Panther... The past, like, six... You know, the past six for sure. Spider-Man Homecoming, maybe, because that's more of a contained thing. But there is, if you've seen all of them, there's just way more emotion behind everything that's going on. And it just means that much more. And it just hits you really hard. So Harder than Thanos punching Iron Man in the trailer. So that's our non-spoiler review, guys. Uh, let us know in the comments below if you're ready to see this, uh, if you're mentally prepared to see and this. don't be the dick who spoils it in the comments. Go to the spoiler review. Please do not uh, do that. Uh, we're going to do the spoiler review and release it very shortly I don't know after. why you'd be here if you already saw the movie. Yeah, exactly. But, you know, anyway, it's it's a, it's a, like, the more I've thought about it, the more I'm like, this, this hit me really hard, and it was emotional, it was a roller coaster, and it's, it's damn impressive. Good thing we went to the late viewing, so I had to sleep depressed. Yeah. Anyways, I'm G. I'm Anthony. And we'll catch you later.